Hello there again friends and YouTubers, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and I would like to share with you some song ideas that I put together and uh, a song that was a big hit back in the 70s and why it's important to tune your guitar in different um, keys and stuff like that. Here's a song that was a monster hit back in uh, the late 70s and uh, by uh, CSN. And uh, if it was done on a piano, I think the whole turnout would have been different. This song really charted and uh, it goes like this. Now this is a D tuning. I don't think this song would have been a hit if it wasn't for the acoustic guitar. out of Orange County and uh, we play sometimes at uh, music stores and restaurants and uh, they give you uh, insights to how to write better songs and one of the questions that uh, arises a lot when I notice uh, people playing is uh, where did you get the inspiration to write your song now you know songwriting can be a uh, something that seriously means something to you or maybe to somebody else or you can write it ambiguously which means just it really doesn't mean anything at all it just happens to be off the top of your head which so there's no real set pattern but for me uh, if I can't find let me turn this down just a little bit here on the monitor if, if, if I can't find something to write about where my mind goes blank, I, I generally go and do another kind of video uh, because I also like photography and video, uh, video shooting videos and stuff like that. So I'll do a video on some equipment or whatever just to refresh my mind because if it's not coming to you, it's not going to come to you. So uh, a lot of times I'll come up with an idea. So uh, this next song I want to share with you uh, is called uh, She's Mine, which is actually. Uh, a song that can be a girl can sing it too he's mine or whatever so whenever I write a song I always try to keep it in mind who is the singer gonna be you know it, it doesn't necessarily have to be me because I really don't think I have that great of a voice and uh, you know there could be somebody else that could could add to it and make it better but then yeah at the same time make it worse but uh, the thing that you got to remember that I, I that always sticks with me is in the event that you do share the song with a group of people that you can play it in, in different keys. So, um, for example, if I do this song, this song was written about um, a girl and a guy. He has to go off to war, and it doesn't have to be necessarily. A, a particular side because this can go either way and uh, she wants to share this last moment with him because it's a blue moon and they would go and see a blue moon or when the moon was out and um, no matter what would ever happen you're always gonna we're almost gonna remember this this moment you know because it, it meant a lot to to me and you and so that the part of the lyrics are uh, uh, there's a blue moon tonight I'd like to share it with you but yet you're so far away but I'm gonna get there soon very soon and if not you're always gonna be there uh, and I'm gonna be right there with you and she has nobody to really blame because it's a war so she blames it on the blue moon why why is it like this he's always gonna be mine or vice versa you know 
And so I always take that into consideration when writing a song. I mean, detuning and you know, drop detuning or whatever, how, however you want to write a song. It could be on a piano. For me, that's really important to be able to share that with somebody. And uh, like I said to a lot of people, it doesn't really matter. It's just you know, it's, just, it's a good song, and you know, it's just like elevator music in one ear out the other. Um, you know, to me, it's like. Uh, the french fries without the ketchup or the salt i mean you got to have some kind of an explanation to why why did you do that why did you write that song and some of my songs are more or less self-explanatory uh you know praise and worship to the lord and uh, uh you know whatever the song might you know it's very easy to figure out but sometimes i'll write some contemporary christian songs and this one is is one of them and uh it starts out <laughs> So that first part of it is basically just, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's a, a five two one or it's, it's very, very common. But then I break into a part where I really got to make you think about something because the minutes, it's, the song's got to be at least two and a half, three minutes. So I break in, I go out of the box. Now, if I were to do the song for a girl with a higher voice, I would have to go from C and go right into... or D. There's a blue moon tonight. Please let me share it with I would know, I would have to know immediately where that break is. If love is only for a moment, then let's make love last. She's mine tonight. See how much softer it would be if a girl were to sing it and really could feel and express uh, the way the song was was written now if i were to play some blues piece so you know we all know that four bars you know you're going into a you got a little pre da, 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 da. just make up some words you know do it again and you got to come into where you finish it off 